Here in Kenya, the United Nations has formally protested to the government for detaining a ship which was alleged to have carried illegal weapons at the port of Mombasa. The UN office in Nairobi now says the weapons were properly cleared and were destined to the destined for the Democratic Republic of Congo for peacekeeping operations. But as Samogina reports, Kenya has rejected the UN charge, saying the raid on the ship was a security issue. The United Nations has broken its silence over the controversial cache of weapons in UN-branded armored vehicles seized in a Norwegian vessel. <laughs> Kenyan elite police code in a sting operation seized the vessel the moment it docked at the Mombasa port and its inspection revealed the ship was carrying weapons. But the UN claims Kenyan authorities breached international protocols by circumventing the body in the inspection. An assertion rebuffed by the police spokesman Charles Owino, who says there was no breach of protocol, but a detailed statement will be released after consulting the Foreign Affairs Ministry. We got wind that it was carrying things that were not authorized, or not supposed to come to this country. And that's why it was uh, seized, and uh, we did thorough in, in search, and uh, we found arms and things that we suspect could be illicit drugs. Uh, investigations are still continuing. In what is shaping up as a diplomatic standoff, the United Nations says the weapons were part of a legitimate consignment that was declared at the point of entry in Mumbai, India, destined for the Indian battalion operating in the DRC. The UN claims the weapons were declared in the Bill of Lading, an agreement between the shipper and the transportation company declaring the contents, its origin and destination. But the United Nations admits a manifest of the weapons was not made. This is a document used to provide proof to government agencies of the contents of a cargo vessel. UN is also alarmed with reports that drugs are also seized in the vessel, saying responsible authorities are currently investigating the claims. The continental body, however, says it has cooperated with the Kenyan authorities since the vessel was detained, liaising with the Foreign Affairs Ministry over the fate of its consignment. Samogina KTN News.